Sports. Hi guys, my name is Agustinus Delawan and I'm the GM of AI, Data Platform and Data Science at Casils and also an AWS Machine Learning Hero. And in this talk, I'm going to share how I built Oli, a personalized comic video generator with Stable Diffusion 2.1 on Amazon SageMaker. I'm a tech lover. I love to build tech gadget to entertain my family, such as an AI that helped my wife to choose what to wear in the morning, a flying simulator, and a robotic talking teddy bear to entertain my son. And Oli, a personalized comic generator, uh, is my latest AI-powered project that I built for my son as well. Why did I build Oli? Probably just like many other dad, every evening it has become a cherished routine to share bedtime stories with my four years old son, Dexy. His collection of books is impressive, but he's especially captivated when I create tales from scratch and crafting story this way also allows me to incorporate moral values I want him to learn, which can be very difficult to find in a store-bought books. And over time, I have sharpened my skills in crafting personalized stories that ignite his imagination. From a lonely sky lantern seeking companionship to a slow-mo snail who uses his weaknesses to stop a bank robber. This has been fun, but after six months, my creativity reservoir has been tested to the limit. So I need a more sustainable solution. An AI technology that can generate captivating story automatically, which I name her Oli after his favorite bird, an owl. Oli can take personalization to the whole new level. By using just a couple of photos of Texas penguin toy and a story title, it can generate a story based on a given title and create video showcasing the toy as the main character. And to add the experience uh, further, the video also comes with a background music. Pairing it up with a portable projector makes it an ideal bedtime storyteller you will, you will ever need. And now I'm going to play uh, one of the comic video that Oli created so you can see what it looks like. Bob the Penguin was a happy and curious penguin who lived in the Antarctic. He was content with his life there, surrounded by his friends and family. But one day, he decided to take the plunge and explore the world beyond the icy continent. He had heard stories of the many beautiful and exotic places around the world, and he wanted to experience them for himself. Bob the Penguin started researching the world, looking at maps and reading up on different countries and cultures. He was particularly drawn to Europe, with its many famous landmarks and sites. He decided that Europe was the place he wanted to visit, so he began to plan his journey. Bob the Penguin started to make the long journey by boat. He was excited and couldn't wait to get there, and he was determined to make it to Europe. After a few weeks of traveling, he eventually arrived at his destination. Bob the Penguin started exploring Europe and was amazed by all the different places he visited. He went to the Eiffel Tower in Paris, the Colosseum in Rome, and the Cliffs of Moor in Ireland. Everywhere he went he was filled with awe and delight. Bob the Penguin also visited many of the great museums and galleries of Europe, such as the Louvre in Paris and the Prado in Madrid. He was amazed by the art and culture that surrounded him, and he felt as if he had been transported to a different world. He then made a visit to the Big Ben to admire its majestic architecture. He took lots of photos to make sure he could show it to many of his friends back home. After a few months of traveling around Europe, Bob the Penguin eventually made his way back home. He was filled with joy and satisfaction, having experienced so many new things and made so many memories. He had been brave and curious, and he was not afraid to explore the unknown. So, you're wondering how Ollie works? Here is how. It starts with taking input, such as the story topic, a character name, and a few photos of the character in S3 bucket, like Texas Penguin toy. Then using LLM, it generates a story script and suggests a suitable music style. The script is divided into sections, and for each section, 
An image is generated using stable diffusion model running on Amazon SageMaker. And after that, the script is passed on to Amazon Poly to create audio narration. Finally, MoviePy is used to combine the audio narration, images, and music to create a comic video to be uploaded into an S3 bucket. This entire process is orchestrated by AWS Batch. But today, I'm only going to talk about the image generation process here. And if you want to know more about the overall system, you can read my Medium blog. Stable Diffusion is a generative AI model which learn the visual representation of words by training it with billion pairs of images and captions. Once the training is completed, given a text prompt like turtle is swimming in the sea, it will produce a photo like this. Awesome, right? Training a stable diffusion model is very expensive. The effort to gather billions of images and caption pairs and the computation power required to train the model is immense. Hence, 99% of the time, people just use the pre-trained model to generate image. And the other 0.5% of the time, when you need the AI model to learn a new images, such as Texas Penguin Toy, we train the model a little further with your own training set and prompts. This process is known as a fine tuning. You will then use the fine tune model to generate images with characters or concept in your training images. Next, I'm going to take you through the steps of accessing a stable division 2.1 pre-trained model to generate images, fine tuning the model to generate personalized images, and generating lots of images with batch transform. All done easily without ML skill using Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart and Amazon SageMaker ecosystem. Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart a feature available uh, in Amazon SageMaker Studio provide access to wide range of pre-trained AI models, such as efficient net image classification, ResNet object detection, and a stable diffusion model, the AI model that we need for this project. Additionally, some of these models can be further fine-tuned as per your requirement. And loading the stable diffusion model is a breeze. Simply click on the model card and it will take you to the model page where you can see more details about the model. You can even deploy the model right here into an endpoint to start generating images. Totally zero code solution. However, as we need to fine tune the model, I need to write some code, which is not a hard. As simple as clicking this button, it will open a Jupyter notebook with an example code uh, that I need to generate images and fine tune the model. This is an example of code in a notebook. This line here show drop down where you can select the right stable division model. In this case, this one in particular, which led you to find you further. And deploying this model into an endpoint is as simple as these few lines of code. Within a few minutes, the endpoint is up and we can start generating image by simply sending text prompt to the endpoint. Conveniently, we can show the generated image right within this notebook cell. It is such an easy way to test your prompt to generate images. And to further enhance this model, the next few steps involve fine tuning it using our own images that feature the character we aim to teach the model with. This will enable the model to generate images specifically featuring that character. And to achieve this, we need to organize our training images into this folder structure. First, a series of images named instant image X, where X is the number from one to N. In this case, N represent the number of images, ideally more than 10. A data set info JSON, which include the instance from field, which describe the object in uh, and includes a unique character before it is named such as a photo of XYZ, the penguin. And this identifier can be used to instruct the fine-tuned model to generate either a standard penguin, which refer to penguin, or the penguin from the training set, which is XYZ, the penguin. And while XYZ is a unique word, 
any unique identifier such as pop the penguin can be used instead. You can optionally provide an image within a class director, which contains the generic photo of the subject to supplement the training images to reduce the chance of overfitting. In this case here, a photo of a normal penguin. Alternatively, the training process can also automatically generate these generic photos by utilizing the class prompt field in the same JSON file. A prior preservation parameter in the training hyperparameter need to be set to true to enable this behavior. We uploaded these files into an S3 uh, bucket, which will then be used by the fine tuning process. We then created an estimator object and call the fit method by passing the location of the training set in our S3 bucket to execute SageMaker training, which takes roughly about 30 minutes. And once the training is completed, we deploy the model into an endpoint ready to generate images. Here are some of the generated images from Dexy's toy collection. This one here is a Rex the Turtle, a Dexy's shower companion. And this one above is his magnetic blocks creation brought to life, blended with a real kangaroo resting next to the lake. It's a very cool, right? And since I needed to generate many images for each comic video, deploying a SageMaker endpoint and generating one image at a time wasn't the most efficient approach. Instead, I opted to run a patch transform against my model, supplying it with text files containing the prompt one text file for each image to be generated in an S3 bucket. You then create a SageMaker model object by specifying the S3 location of your fine-tuned model as the model data. From there, you can create the transformer object using this model object and execute transform method by passing in the location of the patch transform input files that we created previously. The patch transform output is ready to be downloaded from the S3 packet, as you see here. Each of them is actually a NumPy array representing the generated output. And once I have completed the prototype, I deploy them in AWS Batch. As you can see here, it's very easy to conduct an end-to-end -end experimentation and to build your prototype using Amazon SageMaker Studio. Here are some of the top generated comic videos. A super hedgehog Tom who saved his city from a dragon and I make the giraffe's hard work to grow a longer neck and a pokey and a secret door to a magic forest. You can go to the link below or scan this QR code to watch all of the comic video that generated by Auli in my YouTube channel. So thanks for listening. You can reach out to me on LinkedIn uh, or if you are interested to know more details how I built Auli and how the rest of the system works and other AI robotic projects that I've built, you can go to my Medium blog or GitHub page.